hello. Now we are introduce how to use this packing machine. Uh, we can see here has a two tube. This is, this one is for connecting to the air compressor, and this is for the nitrogen export. So this one is we have another tube. And here you can, this is connecting to the machine. To here, and then we have a, and the air goes to here and connecting to here. Okay. Okay, now we connect. And we can start, we can start this uh, nitrogen making machine. And now we have to wait in. This number, it, we need to wait until it goes to 99. 0.9% pure and then it can work. Okay. okay, now we turn on the electricity, turn on the machine. Yes. Okay, now here we can choose the English and English. And after we turn on the machine, we need to wait. This is the temperature of the ceiling middle seal and the end seal. We have to wait in for the temperature goes to the target temperature. And the bottom is the target we set. And uh, uh, the top one is showing what's the uh, temperature right now. Once it goes to the target temperature, then we can start uh, run the machine. Oh, okay, now you can see this is our system. We can choose the language, English. And now you can see this is the page of our system. Uh, now, first one, we go to see this wrong page. Running page in this side. Uh, in this page, we can see here shows packing speed, back length, and material length. That packing speed normally can set, uh, you can make it a little bit fast and slower. But no, uh, for, for now, our machine set 20 bags per minute. Uh, cannot, uh, don't need to change this packing speed. And back lens means the real back lens, like the iMac lens. The real you set the real back lens here. And material lens means the uh, your product lens, the real lens. For example, this is the product, and then you measure the real lens, like twenty millimeter, then uh, two hundred millimeters. Uh, you can set two hundred millimeter here, and then the back lens. You can uh, the. Real material lens means the iMac from here and to the here, the real lens. You can set it. Material local location. Uh, this number uh, means the location in the bag, in the bag size. Just like if the material goes into the bag, uh, this is the top ceiling and this is the bottom ceiling. And in the middle size, we have the space to let our product in it. And the perfect, uh, perfect location is the product in the middle. If the product goes up, like uh, top space is less and the bottom space is too much, then we can set. Then we can uh, adjust this. We can adjust this number to make the product. Try to make the product in the middle. Then it's okay. Position. This is the color code position, means the uh, black iMac, this black iMac. Normally we have to uh, adjust it to this bottom place. So if it is on the back in this position, then we can uh, try to adjust this number to uh, make a little bit bigger or make it smaller to uh, try to find this position goes down and then cut into the right position. And uh, this kind of scale and knife angle, we don't have to uh, adjust this number. And okay, this enter scaling film off. Each time we turn on the machine, we need to press this, make it open, make it open. Because each time we turn off the machine, this this button they will close. So each time we turn on the machine, we need to make it open. And knife speed, this number we don't have to adjust. And then this is system initialization status. Uh, we don't have to do this. If uh, we um, find the machine stop, emergency stop, and then we can do clean this. Okay, 
now we can see the color mode. This color mode means we are using the um, black iMac uh, checking system. So we are uh, using this mode. If we see, this is uh, automatic lens me me measurement. This, uh, when we using this one, means machine can automatic sense the iMac lens. The automatic sense the iMac lens. So, and then they will find the back lens and the uh, back lens automatic. But normally we just measure it and put the real back lens here and material lens here. And this is the fixed lens mode, which means if we don't have the uh, iMac, like only the empty, uh, no design film, we can using the fixed lens. Like if we only want to uh, cut uh, 305 millimeter back lens we set and then using this mode so we can each time we'll cut the same back lens and then this is uh, this is empty package opening uh, and off this this function actually is to control the it's to control the product on this belt if we want, we don't want this belt working, we turn off. If we want to, uh, the belt working and let the product come in, so then we turn on the, then we can turn on the function. And this is the con quantity of quantity on and off, which means we we come this output setting. This is the total output which means how many bags we are making and this is shift output and we can set here the number and then can clean and this is the quantity counting so we can set if we set 100 bags or 1000 bags here then we can um, this is to set the number this is the quantity we set and then here shows how many and turn on this function, then it will work. Uh, okay, this is this page. Okay, this is the menu operation. In this page, we can see this is three servo control uh, for the feeding and film feeding and the cutter. The feeding means the product feeding, back forward and uh, forward, which means uh, which means the product forward and back forward. It's the manual control. And then in the middle, this is a film feeding, um, back forward and forward, which means the film. The film at the bottom, we can make it forward or back forward. And, and here is the cutter reverse and the uh, forward rotation. It means this, this is the cutter. It will turn this side or turn this side. As well. uh, actually, in this page, we don't have to do uh, we don't have to do menu uh, control in this page because everything we already set. So this page do not don't need to do the test.